I'm here with Twins All-Star catcher Joe Maurer, and Joe, the question I'm sure is on everyone's mind right now, how are you feeling, how's the back, and how do you think you're progressing with your rehab? I think everything's been going pretty good so far, you know, feeling pretty good. Uh, you know, caught back-to-back -back days the other day, and, and that was one of the things I wanted to uh, set out to do here in, in the minor league stint, so uh, feeling pretty good. Going to catch tonight and uh, probably tomorrow, and, and hopefully be back up north, but uh, things are going pretty good. Now, are you catching seven innings tonight or going to full nine? Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be at least seven. And uh, I guess it's going to see how we feel. How we feel. But uh, I think we'll try to get a couple couple more ABs in there and uh, you know, go from there. Now, at this point in your rehab, where's your swing at? Are you happy with how you're swinging the bat? And how are you on the base pass? How close are you to being major league ready? I think I'm real close. You know, uh, obviously, at different circumstances, I'd like to get a few more at bats in. but. You know, we're already in the regular season, and, and uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good right now, and I don't feel like you can go up there and, uh, you know, compete at the major league level. So, um, you know, ideally, you know, I'd like to get a few more at bats, but, uh, you know, the situation we're in, you know, I'm, I think I'm ready to go. Now, you've joined the Fort Myers Miracle after working with your brother, Jake, with the uh, extended spring training camp, and what was that like working with him? That was pretty neat, you know, uh, we were drafted the same year together. So uh, we got to play on the same team, but uh, you know it was it was kind of neat seeing him down at third base when I was digging in. You know it's a little different, but uh, it was kind of cool. And you guys probably didn't even need to have any signs with each other. You, you just knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah. I guess we were reading each other. So um, yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Spending time with these guys in advanced day, have they kind of approached you and asked for any advice or just kind of get get stories from you? Have spent time with the twins? Yeah, you know I've, I've had a lot of fun with the guys. You know it's. Uh, kind of been in a different role, you know, where I'm uh, one of the older guys or the old guy. And, uh, you know, it's it's fun to, uh, you know, to, to be back in, in this uh, in this league and, and seeing the guys and, you know, having fun and, and you know, doing the, doing the things that you're doing when you're 20, 21 years old. So, um, the guys have been great. They've been asking me questions and, you know, I just try to be as accessible as I can and, and uh, you know, try to give them uh, some good input. And you just kind of led into it there, going back to when you were 21 and spending time here with the Miracle. Uh, what were things like for you in Fort Myers, and what were your favorite things to do here? And do you have any good stories from the road you can share? Well, it's just uh, you know, like bus rides, you know, stuff like that, and you know, getting into town, you know, smaller towns or cities, and um, you know, just you know, walking things like walking to McDonald's or something, you know. And, and things like that. You I know, guess you don't do that uh, anymore. Uh, not a whole lot, but uh, you know, it's, it's kind of fun, and uh, you know, it kind of makes you appreciate being up in the big leagues a little bit more. You know, being around these guys and, and seeing how hard they work. And, um, it, but it's a little bit different from, uh, from the big leagues. Now, as you were kind of realizing that you weren't going to be able to participate in spring training this year, what kind of role did you play with the major league twins? Uh, were you kind of around and just? You know, just welcoming the younger guys to camp and just how do you spend your time? I know it was tough for you to not be on the field, but how, how do you spend the time? Well, it's mostly in the training room, you know, trying to get back on the field. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. we got a real good clubhouse up there. And, uh, for a major league club, we're pretty young. And uh, the guys that have been there are, are pretty good, uh, you know, I think good to the young guys and, and make them feel as welcome as they can. Um, you know, but uh, this year was a little different role for me. You know, I didn't. Didn't really get to uh, to meet some of the new guys coming in, you know. You, you know, get familiar with them out on the field, but you try to, to make up for that you know, in the clubhouse and things like that. Just had the NFL draft over the weekend here. Are there times you miss football? Yes and no. <laughs> um, you know, I don't miss 260-pounders uh, trying to, to rip my head off or anything like that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's. You know, I think I'm a little far removed from that right now. But uh, yeah, you always wonder what if. But. Yeah. You know, I'm having fun playing baseball. Um, do you, I know you were born and raised in Minnesota. Did you grow up a Twins fan, I assume? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was a fan of baseball, you know, really. But uh, I always watched the Twins and like to see them win. Favorite players growing up? Uh, Kirby Puckett, Ken Herbeck. Those are good ones. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of guys, you know, like Ken Griffey, you know, Junior, and stuff like that. But uh, I think Kent and uh, Kirby were my favorites. Now, as a... Long line, uh, as a longtime Twins fan and playing with the Twins now, do you have mixed feelings about leaving the Metrodome for Target Field next year? Uh, yes and no. I mean, obviously, uh, we had some great memories in the Metrodome. And, and one thing that I like about the Metrodome is you're going to play on time and, and you're going to get it in. And, uh, <laughs> and the weather is 72 degrees, but 
you know, I think baseball is meant to be played outside. And, uh, I know a lot of fans up there, including myself, are excited for the new ballpark. And, uh, it should be fun. Speaking of fans, there's been a lot of people around here seeking your autograph, wanting to meet you. I know that you have great support up in Minnesota as well. Can you just talk about the fan support you've had in your career and what it's been like for you to kind of adjust to that? Uh, it's been great, you know, uh, you know, being a Minnesota kid, um, you know, every, all, most of everything has been positive. You know, a lot of people have followed me ever since I was in high school and, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's pretty flattering to hear stories, you know, some of the stories that I hear. Um, you know, every year it gets a little bit more and more and, and I'm kind of a guy that uh, you know, doesn't like to be in the spotlight a whole lot, but, uh, you know, I guess that uh, it comes with the, the territory, but, you know, for the most part everybody's been pretty good and, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm flattered and, uh, you know, thankful for it. Can you talk about the 2009 Minnesota Twins a little bit? You're going to be joining them very shortly and fell just one game short last year. And How do you like your chances this season? What do you think of the guys you've got in the club? I like them. You know, uh, we've got a great team, young, a lot of young players, but uh, I think last year, going through the last couple of months, really, uh, I hope we learned a lot from, you know, uh, playing a lot of playoff atmosphere type games. And, you know, I think that'll only help us down the stretch. But we got a lot of talent, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting up there and, uh, you know, playing with these guys. Uh, batting title last year, Gold Glove, All-Star. Uh, are there any kind of milestones that really mean a lot to you that you're really trying to, you know, achieve? Uh, the playoffs. Um, you know, every year that's, that's our goal is the playoffs. And, uh, you know, you get a little, t I've got a little taste of it a couple times there in you know, 04 and 06, and, um, you know, it's almost like a whole other game. So, uh, you know, that's our goal every year, and, and you know, the, the neat thing about that in our clubhouse, there's a lot of other guys that their main goal is, is that too. So, don't uh, get me wrong, the other awards are, are nice, but, uh, you, know, you know, I love to be in the playoffs. Uh, wrapping it up a little bit here, uh, I know you got to come back to Fort Myers and see Larry Benassi, Shark again. And yeah. What can you tell us about Shark? What should we know? Well, I've known Larry since uh, my first day, 2001. Um, Shark, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys know how he's an avid golfer. You know, he's always looking for that next club to, to help his game. You know, uh, actually, even today he went out to a, to a golf shop to try to look for some clubs. You know, but uh, you know, Larry's a great guy. He's really helped me out over the years, and um, he's just a fun guy to be around. And I'm sure a lot of the players this year on the Miracle will, will tell you the same. But uh, yeah, me and Larry go way back, and uh, you know, it, that's been uh, kind of neat for me to see the. You know, Larry and, you know, say like Jeff Smith, I was in big league camp with him, you know, my first couple of years, so, um, you know, Slice, I've known Slice for a long time, and, you know, and Mincy, but, uh, you know, it's a great staff here, and, uh, you know, it's, it's been, uh, been fun spending time with them.